If you ever were in a library <clears throat> and went over to the card catalog to look something up using the old Dewey Decimal System, <clears throat> you might remember drawers like these. Well, if you look through thrift stores <clears throat> and used furniture stores and places like that all over, well, all over Middle America at least, you'll find these just about everywhere. You know, that light's just a damn too, bit too bright, isn't it? I guess it is bright enough in here. How's that? That's better. <clears throat> so I have, I have a lighting problem in here most of the time. I have lights, lights, lights everywhere, and I barely can see things because it's so dark. But it happens to be uh, the middle of the day, so it's pretty bright. But if you notice, I've got these uh, label like machine screws, finishing screws, seals, pins, cable ties, hinges, set screws, brass fittings, bolts, lag bolts, gun parts, T-slots, wing nuts, a bunch more over here. I've been all over the place picking these up. You'll see that not, not any two of them are the same. Most of them are uh, two to a, a rack <clears throat> or to a little case. Some are three. There's a black three one down there. Some are singles, like that strange clamp one or the C-clamp one, which is just huge. But, <clears throat> and then some of them, like this uh, Lawson products case here, uh, I picked up, well, I, I bought that from an old uh, cobbler I knew. And uh, got this case here from him too. And he'd been doing a whole bunch of leather work using it. And, uh, well, I, I'm not into leather work, but uh, he closed down his shop and he needed to get rid of a bunch of stuff, so. I bought a bunch of stuff. <laughs> anyway, I do that. Then I also go and buy, uh, like, see the stones box down here? Well, that's a, uh, oh, come on, thing. How come you do that to me? There. Uh, stones box here. That's a, uh, just a toolbox. I think it was for, like, a, a grinder or something I picked up. I'm, that's for the stones and uh, uh, lapping compounds for that grinder right there. <clears throat> These are other toolboxes I picked up hither, thither, and yon. And I put things like, oh, that's my wheel pullers and so old socket sets, pipe wrenches, various tools I don't have a place for in other places. This one, well, it started out as a, as a well, heck, heck, I don't remember. I bought this at uh, Cherry City Salvage and had to restore it. <clears throat> it was in lousy shape. You'll notice it has a different handle here because I had to replace one of the handles. The one on the bottom I bought at a pawn shop, and they work well together for a, a set. And this is this supports my lathe here for lathe tools, and it works okay. This one I picked up the red one here from a, a neighbor who didn't want it. It was uh, I think it was black, but it was rusted all to hell. So I uh, uh, let me get this out a little bit. <clears throat> it was rusted all to hell, so I grinded it off. Then I uh, then I uh, uh, painted it with the only color I had handy, which was red. It's sitting on top of a black Craftsman case I picked up at a local flea market. Again, this thing, I don't even remember what color it was. I spray painted it after I'd ground off all the, uh, the rust. <clears throat> but this thing contains my tool, my, uh, drill bits collection. And I have a lot of rather large drill bits. Drill bits, drill bits, indexes, more bits, more bits and few indexes, more bits, and several more indexes. Anyway, that's what's in this one. Uh, this one is, is my large socket set. Above it, you'll see my drivers and uh, Allen wrench sets. Over here, we have chisels and punches. Also, uh, various scrap metals, uh, aluminum, copper, brass, bronze, uh, the, the exotics is versus, you know, mild steel or, or hot rolled. <coughs> I'm, I mean, I'm ignoring some of this stuff because it's really not pertinent to what I'm talking about. This is my Kennedy toolbox. Bought that off of eBay from an, a widow whose uh, husband had it many years ago and left it in the basement and uh, when he died. This I got from a local thrift store and I just keep my, my uh, pliers in that. Again, this was from a different thrift store, and I keep 
all sorts of various tools in this one. This one is my uh, screwdriver set. This one is, uh, well, this is uh, punches and uh, like, like, if you, like a letter punch for putting a, uh, punching a letter into a metal item of some kind. And gosh, I forget what I have in these drawers. Oh yeah, more letter, more letter punches. I guess that's what goes all the way down. This one is uh, milling tools for my mill and my mill. <clears throat> so I try to keep things relatively where they belong. Though the drill, the main drill press is over here, and the drill toolbox is over there because I ran out of room. I really need a, a larger area. This, what looks like a, uh, a welding uh, cart, <clears throat> well actually I think it was a welding cart, um, well I keep, I, I use one of dad's old antennas to hold them together. I bolted two of them together because the bottom one had rollers on it and I keep power tools in this one. <sighs> Put that antenna back and through bottom hole. Oh, not a heck with it, I'll get it later. <sighs> anyway, that's my arrangement for tools of various kinds. Uh, that says it's a skill saw, actually that's a grinder. Uh, I flat forget what's in those ones, I think they're they're empty. I know these ones are empty down here. They're, uh, they'll be used, I know, except for, except for this one. This one contains planes. I'm not really into planes, but they are gorgeous, so I thought I'd better hold on to them. Anyway, that's my tools.